What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released iOS 17.1.2 to the general public just a few weeks after 17.1.1 and just a couple of weeks before iOS 17.2, the next major iOS 17 update. Now along with this release, Apple also released iPadOS 17.1.2 and macOS 14.1.2. But in this video, we are focusing on iOS 17.1.2, although I will also mention macOS throughout the video as well. So you can see here, the size of this update came in at exactly 526 megabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro, which is coming from 17.1.1. But if you're coming from a previous build, like maybe 17.1 or even an older version, that size will be larger. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update, settings general about. Out. Our new build number here is 21B101. And if we head back and check out the modem firmware, you can see that the modem firmware is 1.12.02 for the iPhone 15 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.1.2 and why exactly did Apple release this even though we're just about to see 17.2 in a couple of weeks? Well, the big reason is because this update patches two WebKit bugs. And you can see here from looking at Apple's security notes, more details about these. The first one has an impact of processing web content may disclose sensitive information and Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS before 16.7.1. And the description of the fix is an out of bounds read was addressed with improved input validation. And then the second WebKit bug is a little bit different because the impact of this one was processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution, the classic bug there. And Apple is aware that this bug was also actively exploited against versions of iOS before 16.7.1. And the description of the fix for this one was a memory corruption vulnerability was addressed with improved locking. So long story short, this update patches two WebKit bugs that were being actively exploited on previous versions of iOS. So of course, it's always a good idea to update anytime you see Apple fixing something that may have been actively exploited. But as far as anything else goes, Apple is not addressing any of the other bugs. This seems to be just a security fix update as indicated by the release notes. Apple did not dive into any further details besides those security fixes, which we just talked about, and they had no mention of the fix for Wi-Fi. So there's been a lot of Wi-Fi issues lately on iOS 17.1 and 17.1.1. So there's no mention of a fix for that if you were facing it. And there's also no mention of a fix for wireless charging for the iPhone 15 in GM vehicles. So there's also a bug that Apple is aware of where iPhone 15 charging might not work in GM vehicles. So hopefully iOS 17.2 patches both of those because that is going to be a much bigger update, but we're not seeing those here with 17.1.2. And if you're facing any other type of issue, those are unlikely to be fixed with this update. Now, as far as the performance and battery life goes with iOS 17.1.2, usually you don't see any type of performance or battery improvements with these double point updates. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, that is a double point update. Typically you do not see any type of performance or battery life improvements. However, I did run a Geekbench 6 test and I scored pretty, you know, decently higher than 17.1.1 on my 15 Pro here. So I scored a 2962 on the single core score and a 7420. And if we compare that to 17.1.1 right here on November 7th, you can see a good bit higher, especially on the multi-core score there. So you could see potentially better performance, but it's going to be very minor. Like you're probably not going to notice it if there is an improvement, but the Geekbench scores do indicate that we could see a performance improvement. However, battery life, I would not expect any change to battery life here with 17.1.2 if you're coming from 17.1 or 17.1.1. Now, if you're coming from a 17.0.x update or just 17.0, you will likely see battery life improvements because it has gotten better. But if you're just coming from the previous build, I would not expect to see any type of major differences with battery life. And before we talk about what's coming next for Apple, I do want to discuss macOS Sonoma 14.1.2 as well because this does include the same bug fixes as iOS and iPadOS 17.1.2. So you will definitely want to update your Mac as well. But the bigger update today for the Mac came with a new version of Final Cut Pro version 10.7. So this is a major 
update to Final Cut Pro if you are somebody who uses it to edit videos. We have multiple new additions like the ability to automatically scroll on the timeline while keeping your clips in view. We have faster exporting for HEVC and H.264 files. There's a new machine learning model for the object tracker to analyze the movement of faces and other objects. There's a new enhanced reveal in browser feature and just so much more. So if you do use Final Cut Pro at all, I would highly recommend updating right away because it's most likely going to be a very solid update. I know there are a lot of crashes sometimes with the new Final Cut updates, but I think these new features will be worth the risk. And if you use Final Cut Pro on the iPad, there's also an update today that allows you to have voiceover capabilities to let creators record narration and audio directly into the timeline pro camera mode, and a lot more. So if you use Final Cut Pro on the iPad, there's also a big update today for you. And there's even been updates for iMovie, Compressor, and Logic Pro. So all of those also got some pretty nice updates today. But anyways, getting back to iOS 17.1.2, should you update? Should you update to iOS 17.1.2? And I would say that if you're not on the 17.2 beta at the moment, then yes, 100% you should update right away. It's always good, like I mentioned earlier, to update when there are actively exploited bugs that have been patched. And the same goes for macOS as well. A pretty straightforward answer there. So let's go ahead and talk about what is coming next for Apple, because this update was minor, but the next update is going to be major, and that is version 17.2. So iOS 17.2 is going to be the next public release. We are currently in beta right now. However, the RC version or the release candidate version, which is the final build for beta testers, should be released next week on the week of December 4th and I would expect to see the final version of iOS 17.2 on the week of December 11th most likely right there on December 11th and this update like I mentioned is going to bring a lot of features and changes not just security patches and you could also notice some performance and battery life improvements as well if you were struggling on previous builds so of course stay tuned to the channel because I have been covering 17.2 in its beta stages and I will have a big what's new video when 17.2 does drop in a couple of weeks but anyways guys there you have it that is iOS 17.1.2 along with an update on macOS 4 14.1.2 and Final Cut Pro 10.7. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. I did want to bring you a video on this update, even though it is minor, just to keep you in the know about these updates, because I know a lot of people don't get updates on their phone, you know, for weeks, unless I tell them, unless they see my notification on YouTube. So I like to help out even if the update is small like this one. But nonetheless, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the iOS 17.2 video coming up. And of course, a lot more in the future as well. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.